Hello students, welcome to High Yield Revision for Neat PG, Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. The topic we are going to discuss today is hanging. Hanging is one of the very important concept asked in mechanical asphyxia. It is very commonly asked in your Neat PG. Like example, types of hanging, autopsy findings in hanging, the manner of death, cause of death, commonly asked in your knee PG. Let's start with the topic. So, what is important in this chapter hanging? You must know what you mean by hanging, types of hanging. Autopsy findings, cause of death, and the medical legal importance. Let's start with the definition. What do you mean by hanging? Hanging is a type of mechanical asphyxia caused by ligature material causing obstruction of neck where the weight of the body or the weight of the head acts as a constricting force. Let's see what do you mean by hanging from standard textbook is a form of asphyxia caused by suspension of body by a ligature material encircling neck the constricting force being weight of the body or weight of the head. Here there are some concepts that can be asked in your exam. What is the literal meaning of asphyxia? What is the literal meaning of asphyxia? As you know, asphyxia is combination of hypoxia and hypercapnia. Hypoxia means decrease oxygen concentration in the blood. Hypercapnia that is increase carbon dioxide in the blood. But what do you mean by asphyxia literally? Your answer should be pulselessness. So what you must know? So the meaning is pulselessness. And here one more point. The most common cause of death in case of hanging is asphyxia. Our combination of asphyxia plus venous obstruction. Then here suspension of the body. Remember in case of hanging there is a suspension of the body but in case of manual strangulation or in case of ligature strangulation there is no suspension of the body. The constricting force being weight of the body in case of complete hanging. So this can be asked in your exam. Complete hanging. Complete hanging means when entire body is suspended. So that is known as complete hanging. The weight of the body that acts as a constricting force. In case of partial hanging, where the body part touching the ground, either it must be in sitting position, or standing position or kneeling position. In case of partial hanging, the constricting force being weight of the head. So this can be asked in your exam. In case of partial hanging. So again I will repeat, the literal meaning of asphyxia, pulselessness. In case of complete hanging, weight of the body acts as a constricting force. In case of partial hanging, the weight of the head acts as a constricting force. Okay, with this now let's start some more important MCQ that can be asked from hanging. In general, asphyxia characterized by 
pre important finding they are known as asphyxia triad the mnemonic is a is equal to cpc a is equal to cpc what is a for asphyxia c for cyanosis why there is a cyanosis in hanging because of venous obstruction p for petechial hemorrhages what happens in any case of asphyxia either it can be hanging or ligature strangulation there can be pinpoint hemorrhages they are known as petechial hemorrhages they are also known as tardew spots remember this finding is non specific one more c that is for congestion in case of hanging or in case of asphyxia most of the organs are congested we usually write in post mortem report brain is congested liver is congested kidney is congested because of the venous obstruction yes what we can see here so there is a cyanosis the cyanosis is common at the tip of the fingers tip of the nose tip of the tongue there can be tardew spot tardew spot which is non specific pinpoint hemorrhages over the eyelids over the sclera over the heart or there can be congestion there can be congestion so these points are very commonly asked in the exam let's see now what are the types of hanging hanging depending upon the suspension of the body it can be complete hanging or incomplete or partial hanging let's see now types of hanging based on knot position so based on knot position hanging is classified into typical hanging atypical hanging typical hanging where knot is present at the nape of the neck at the nape of the neck or at the occiput atypical hanging the knot is present in any position other than nape of the neck now here is the question what is the knot position in case of judicial hanging here this is the area of confusion dear okay, students remember most effective position the most effective is submental position are below the chin so this is the chin so this is somewhere here this is the most common most effective position in judicial hanging most common in india that is angle of right jaw angle of right jaw typical hanging nape of the neck atypical hanging any position judicial hanging most effective below the chin most common in india that is the angle of right jaw next types of hanging based on suspension one is complete hanging we discussed that entire body suspended so you can see here in this picture you can see the chair here and the total body suspended where the weight of the body acts as a constricting force and partial hanging so the weight of the head acts as a constricting force it might it might be in standing position or kneeling position sitting position or sometimes prone position also where part of the body touching the ground okay yes so this is very important concept this can be asked in your exam but remember here is one more mcq in case of partial hanging there can be ligature mark and the ligature mark can be transverse ligature mark transverse ligature mark so this can be asked in your exam 
in general in hanging ligature mark is oblique like this oblique this is oblique but one exception is the partial hanging in partial hanging the ligature mark is transverse this can be asked in your upcoming neat pg exam next now now this is a very important topic autopsy findings in hanging what are autopsy findings in case of hanging so in general this can be asked as a image based question or it can be asked as a sentence based question but anyway there will be one or two question from asphyxia first finding the first finding in general as a forensic expert the most important finding in case of hanging ligature mark ligature mark is one of the most important finding in case of any case of hanging so how ligature mark look in case of hanging the mnemonic is opd ap opd ap opd andhra pradesh let's see what are the important findings in ligature mark in case of hanging so far oblique 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 in direction it is not transverse p for it is partial partial means incomplete it is absent at the site of knot p for dry dry hard sometimes it can be black color or brown color and the classical finding that is known as parchmentization dry hard parchmentization that is seen in case of hanging a for abothyroid cartilage abothyroid cartilage in 85% of the cases it is above the thyroid cartilage in 15% of the cases at the level of thyroid cartilage in 5 percentage it can be below the level of thyroid cartilage this can be asked in your exam so oblique partial dry hard above thyroid cartilage one more p is here what is that pressure abrasion it's a type of pressure abrasion so this is about hanging now let's see how this ligature mark look in case of strangulation strangulation how it looks in strangulation yes it is not oblique it is transverse transverse it is not partial it is complete completely encircle the neck in case of you know ligature like strangulation it completely encircle the neck it is not dry hard so in case of ligature like strangulation either because of struggling or because of injury at the side it looks soft and reddish soft and reddish there can be extensive hematoma formation subcutaneous hemorrhages extensive hemorrhages in case of ligature like strangulation and it is usually below the level of thyroid cartilage lastly in ligature like strangulation or in case of hanging the ligature like mark is a type of pressure abrasion when pressure is applied over the skin for some time so that leads to an abrasion that is known as pressure abrasion okay this can be asked in your exam now once again i'll repeat transverse ligature mark is seen in partial hanging in case of low point of suspension transverse ligature mark is seen in hanging pseudo ligature mark can you guess in which condition there can be pseudo ligature mark yes pseudo ligature mark that is seen in infants 
are obese person so because of the skin fold sometimes skin fold that can resemble like ligature mark and one more question that can be asked cheese cutter method when narrow wire is used when narrow wire metallic wire is used so that method is known as cheese cutter method where ligature mark is deep cutting the underlying structures all this can be asked in your exam yes now second important finding in case of hanging if they ask you an exam most important finding in anti mortem hanging so what would be the answer your answer should be dribbling of saliva dribbling of saliva is one of the surest sign of anti mortem hanging but remember in case of antimortem hanging you will see one more finding where one eye is open other eye is closed and the pupil is more dilated on the same side of open eye so what is this known as anyone can you guess what is this known as on the same side of the knot on the same side of the knot because of the pressure over cervical sympathetic chain the eye remains open pupil is more dilated this finding is known as yes anyone can you guess what is this finding known as this finding is known as le faces sympathetic okay this can be asked in your exam it is seen in 10 to 15% of the cases is a feature of anti mortem hanging now look at this so point number 3 autopsy finding in case of hanging where you can see this is the case of hanging okay this is the case of hanging and uh, during autopsy examination so what i uh, got i got a finding cyanosis ligature mark was there and at the angle of mouth i got some important finding so this is known as dribbling of saliva dribbling of saliva in case of antimortem hanging because of stimulation of submandibular salivary gland or stimulation of pterygopalatine ganglia there can be salivary dribbling opposite to the side of the knot that is one of the surest sign of anti mortem hanging next fourth important finding what is the fourth important finding look at this so during post mortem examination so what i got over the eye or over the heart i got some petechial hemorrhages like this so these are known as tardew spot tardew spots and these tardew spots are non specific previously they are known as specific to a case of hanging but later it is found that it can be seen in scurvy it can be seen in thrombocytopenia it can be seen in vitamin k deficiency so it can be seen in dic so it is non specific because of the venous obstruction that is seen in case of hanging next the very important finding that is the finding in hired bone let's see what is the finding in hired bone this is very commonly asked in the exam a very important concept hired bone as you know it has a body it has a greater heart and a lesser heart in case of hanging there can be fracture fracture at greater heart this is very important and remember at the junction of anterior two third and posterior one third greater horn at the junction of anterior two third and the posterior one third in case of hanging the fracture is outward compression fracture it is like this outward compression fracture in hanging inward compression fracture of hired bone seen in 
throttling throttling is nothing but manual strangulation so this can be asked in your exam okay look at this this is how we examine hard bone during autopsy so the one in a video that is showing the hard bone and the hard bone that is showing some fracture so this is how we examine fracture that shows some hematoma at the start now some important some rare findings dear students so this is asked in inact exam what is the finding in carotid arteries in case of judicial hanging so in judicial hanging what happens the carotid arteries that can be transverse tear so that transverse tear involving intima of the blood vessel that is known as amsut sign amsut sign so this is asked in inact exam some rare finding that can be seen in judicial hanging sometimes what happens in judicial hanging so judicial hanging there can be fracture of cervical vertebra like c2 c3 c4 most common is c2 fracture which is known as hangman fracture so c2 fracture is very common in case of judicial hanging there can be fracture of bilateral pars inter articularis so this is what the finding here this is nothing but hangman fracture so what is the cause of death in judicial hanging separation of brain stem from spinal cord or it is fracture of cervical vertebra this is important there can be one more question asked from this what is undertaker fracture remember undertaker fracture is c7 fracture because of defective transport or when when head is unsupported during transport of dead body so there can be fracture of c7 so that can be visible during your autopsy that is known as undertaker fracture and one more point you must know here prince claw golden artifact that can be asked in your exam next now in some cases not in all cases in some cases of hanging when you open thoracic vertebra and cervix uh, you know thoracic and lumbar vertebra you will get some hemorrhages so that hemorrhages though they are non specific they are known as simmons hemorrhages this is again your neat pg question what do you mean by simmons hemorrhages simmons hemorrhages they are hemorrhages at the thoraco lumbar vertebra they are non specific they can be seen in road traffic accident they can be seen in bleeding disorder or coagulation disorders that can be seen now now this is very important finding dear students this case when i am showing a picture here a picture of dead body where you can see the post mortem hypostasis at the limb so when i examine the limb there is a collection of blood at the dependent area and it was fixed very interestingly in this case so we uh, we have given the report of time since death so depending upon the post mortem hypostasis it was around 6 to 12 hours so this is the post mortem hypostasis which is fixed here which is commonly seen in dependent area when body is suspended for long time in case of hanging there can be collection of blood at the lower part of the lower limb or the lower part of the upper limb also that is known as glow and stocking hypostasis next last finding that is the autopsy dissection how do we do autopsy dissection of neck in case of hanging remember in case of hanging we do dissection of neck at last not in the beginning at last because to you know once area become dry once area become you know avascular after a dissection of all other organs you can see injuries very clearly that's why dissection is done at last or it is to prevent prince claw golden artifact 
and the skin incision your answer should be modified why skin incision modified why and one more point the dissection is known as bloodless dissection of neck bloodless dissection of neck and if ligature material is there if at all some ligature material is there we need to preserve the ligature material because that is very important evidence in court of law so you need to preserve ligature material and you need to cut opposite to knot so cut opposite to knot and cut ends are tied that is a very important evidence sometimes what happens this uh, can be a very important evidence that can be you know uh, asked a uh, cross examined during you know courtroom procedure okay so this is about the autopsy dissection of the neck so modified by bloodless dissection at last opposite to not that we must know so to summarize so what are the finding ligature mark ligature mark is oblique i that shows lay face is sympathetic just a summary angle of mouth that shows dribbling of saliva eyelids hard conjunctiva that shows tardive spots hard bone that shows outward compression fracture carotid arteries they show amsous sign cervical vertebra that shows fracture of c2 c3 c4 thoracolumbar vertebra that shows simal hemorrhages there can be glow and stroking hypostasis lastly cpc also we discussed so there are 10 important mcq that can be framed from a summary of autopsy findings in case of hanging there is a nice animation which is uh, there in the picture so hanging all this can be asked in your exam what is the surest sign my dear students surest sign is dribbling of saliva most important and specific ligature mark okay now we we'll discuss last part of the discussion that is the cause of death what is the cause of death in case of hanging so cause of death can be asphyxia you know when trachea when you occluded so that can be asphyxia it can be venous obstruction why venous obstruction because of occlusion of the jugular veins let's say the funda asphyxia because of occlusion of trachea around 15 kg so how to remember trachea 10 10 to 15 kg in case of partial hanging or in case of complete hanging 15 kg weight that can occlude your trachea second venous obstruction that is the jugular veins extra jugular vein intra jugular vein that are occluded at a pressure of 2 to 3 kg dear student 2 to 3 kg weight that can occlude your jugular veins combination is the most common one in general most common is the asphyxia and venous obstruction is the most common cause of death dislocation of cervical vertebra in case of judicial hanging sometimes there can be cerebral anemia also because of occlusion of the major vessels of the brain sometimes uh, it can be you know vasovagal inhibition because of fear fear that can stimulate the vagus now that can lead to cardiac arrest so reflex vagal inhibition and cerebral anemia and the most common is asphyxia and venous congestion trachea occluded at 15 kg jugular veins at 2 to 3 kg vertebral arteries dear student what do you think vertebral arteries are occluded at 20 to 30 kg okay carotid arteries around 5 to 10 kg now fatal period see hanging according to uh, crime bureau investigation the commonest method of suicide in india that is hanging why hanging because easily available it causes somewhat painless death you know paid fatal period is around 3 to 5 minutes a person going to die for almost sure sure death within 3 to 5 minutes so that's why it is the most common method most common method of suicide in india that is hanging okay 
Let's see last point of the discussion, manner of hanging. What is the manner of hanging? So hanging, you know, as you know, this can be suicide, suicide, suicide. You know, many, many, many celebrities, they committed suicide by hanging method. It can be suicidal hanging. Sometimes it can be homicide, homicide that is known as lynching, lynching, what is lynching, lynching means homicidal hanging, it is named after William Lynch, an American captain used to order homicidal hanging of rapist or rape accused person, lynching is homicidal hanging. Sometimes it can be accidental, accidental, so this is known as autoerotic hanging, autoerotic hanging, so what happens, it is accidental death, some people especially in males, they try to do some asphyxial method, usually hanging, because you know when there is asphyxia in the brain that stimulates the you know, a pleasure center in the brain that will give more pleasure during masturbation. Sometimes what happens, the luggage and material that can slip or the person can uh, go into unconsciousness and death of the person. That is known as sexual hanging, also known as coarsevarism, autoerotic hanging, common in case of males. But remember, it can be seen in females also. Okay, so suicide, homicide, and the accidental. There is something known as post mortem suspension, also simulated hanging. So, that is when the body is hanged after death. So, that is known as post mortem hanging or simulated hanging. So, time being, remember, most common method of suicide in India is hanging. Arteritic hanging, cause of death is asphyxia. So, so this is about the you know, in general, some important points about hanging topic. Okay, so one very commonly asked is most surest sign of anti mortem hanging, dribbling of saliva. Dear yes, student, I'll discuss two more points here. Most important finding in anti mortem drowning. What do you think? Most important finding in anti mortem drowning is cadaveric spasm with aquatic matter. Most important finding in anti mortem burn injury. What do you think? Anti mortem burn injury. Your answer should be sooth particles in trachea, lung, and conjunctiva. So, so that completes the, the topic hanging. Thank you. If you have any doubt, you can message me in Telegram group or in the chat box of YouTube channel.